We've heard us talk a lot about two crises facing our state, homelessness, of course, and mental health, especially among Colorado's youth. Well, we've learned the state has money and facilities to deal with both. First, let's talk about the money to half a billion dollars. The legislature approved $450 million to spend on youth residential treatment beds and another $95 million for two homeless recovery campuses. Sean Boyd joins us now. And Sean, the state also has the lands and the buildings, but those buildings are sitting vacant. So what is going on? You know, there are lawmakers asking that same question. Two years ago, the state decided to convert one of the few remaining youth residential treatment centers here into a homeless recovery center. Today, the land, the buildings, and the money just sit there, while not only more people live on the street, but more kids with severe behavioral health needs go untreated. Once a treatment center in school for troubled kids in rural Arapahoe County, Ridgeview Youth Services Center's 100-acre, 16-building, 500-bed campus today sits empty as hundreds of kids with behavioral health issues languish in county offices, hotels, and emergency rooms because there is no place for them to go. It's just devastating to me that there, there, there were beds available for youth to be able to be there. There was staff that was available, um, and all of that has just gone away. Former State Senator Nancy Todd among those who fought to keep Ridgeview open amid a push by the federal government to deinstitutionalize kids and a push by Governor Polis to convert the youth treatment center into a homeless recovery center. It leaves our youth in a lurch. State Representative Daphna Michelson Janae voted against a bill allocating $45 million to repurpose Ridgeview, but it passed. A year and a half later, construction has yet to begin, and the shortage of residential treatment beds for kids has worsened. Some parents so desperate they're surrendering custody to get their kids help. If this is a crisis and we're serious about it, and we have a facility that is sitting there empty, what is the holdup? Todd wants Ridgeview reopened. Meantime, Michael Sinjanae passed bills approving $450 million for new residential treatment beds. Beds she's still waiting to come online. I just am told it takes time. Well, I, we don't have time. Our kids don't have time. We stood up COVID in a minute. This is an emergency. This is a crisis for our youth. It's a matter of, is this a priority? Or are we going to just talk about it and say, oh, well, in 2025, we'll, we'll have something open. Meanwhile, how many kids will we lose? The Department of Human Services says there are about 300 residential treatment beds left in Colorado. It is working to open 33 more, but isn't sure when that will happen. Meanwhile, the Department of Local Affairs, which is in charge of converting Ridgeview into a homeless campus, says Human Services had oversight of it until just this month, two years after it closed and a year and a half after money for the remodel was approved, and it will be another year, I'm told, before it opens to the homeless. Don't even know what to say about it, all that. It's John. maddening, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really is. So frustrating. Thank you.